Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. It is the 14th day of the month of fasting and we are on our journey to relate to the Quran the way it was revealed upon the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. As we have explained that the Quran that we read today is arranged by the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. and it is different in the manner it was revealed upon the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we are going over this chronology of the revelation primarily to follow the footsteps of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and see what kind of situations he was facing and what kind of challenges he was uh, having and how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was sharing the guidance with him to so that he could share that guidance with the people today we will focus on surah 53rd 54th 55th and 56th surah yusuf is the 53rd surah that was revealed upon the prophet even though it is number 12 in the traditionally arranged quran surah hijr is the 54th surah that was revealed upon the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and it is the 15th in the mushaf that we have today surah anam is the 6th surah in the arranged mushaf but it is the 55th that was revealed upon the prophet and surah safat is the 37th surah in the arranged mushaf and uh, uh, it is Uh, the 56th surah that was revealed upon the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam all these four surahs were revealed in mecca surah yusuf reminds people that the living condition of a people and their struggles and trial should not be seen as an obstacle for achieving higher status in the character of prophet yusuf alayhi salatu wassalam is included almost everything that one can imagine in terms of adversities his brothers betrayed him he was separated from his parents he was sold as a slave he was accused of things he was put in prison all kinds of things that one can imagine yet he achieved a higher status on the basis of his character and in the basis of his commitment to the divine guidance and divine belief and this is exactly what this ayah and the set of ayahs in surah yusuf is reminding which is connected with the everything that you we hear and we read in surah hijr and surah an'am and surah safat that if we have commitment to the oneness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if we do not accept the guidance of others in matters that are crucial to our life that if we retain our dignity and our self respect if we act independently and in sincerity and if we have consistency in our character there is no doubt that we would succeed if we have goals we have set in our uh, uh, eyesight if we have uh, uh, objectives that we want to achieve if we have a road map that we want to build and if we understand the reality that exists around us there is no doubt that we can succeed in this path the emphasis is on forgiveness that in this path we will make mistakes we will come across individuals and communities and groups who would try to play us down who would try to uh, you know you know humiliate us who would try to do things that would go against us but those at the moments where we would use our faculties to forgive others and to focus on uh, achieving our goals without being sidetracked by others so in surah an'am surah hij the message of tawhid is shared that the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
by giving examples of various prophets, by giving examples of various communities, by giving examples of various individuals, is reminding people that it is within the grasp of every individual to attain a higher status on the basis of his commitment to the divine guidance or oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being projected as the sole principle for human success? Because it would liberate human beings from all other bondage that society and sometimes human beings themselves put upon themselves. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel.